Hi, I'm Shivam Dubey, a specialist solutions architect for container services at AWS. In this video, I will walk you through deploying a large language model on EKS Auto Mode. We'll see how Auto Mode automatically handled GPU workload management, making it simple to run AI workloads on Kubernetes. This is OpenAI's official Hugging Face page. And yes, OpenAI has now open sourced GPT in two powerful variants, GPT OSS 120B and 20B. You can see the benchmarking here, highlighting performance between GPT OSS 03 and 04 mini models. Let's take a look at GPT OSS 20B model, which we are going to deploy in today's demo which is having 21 billion parameters. And here you can see the model weights around 15 GB in size. All right, let's get started with our demo. First, we need to set up some environment variables, our cluster name and the AWS region. Now we are going to create our EKS cluster using EKS cuttle which is a CLI tool for creating and managing Amazon EKS clusters. Notice the key flag here, enable auto mode. This is what makes all the magic happen. Amazon EKS auto mode is an EKS feature that automatically provisions and manage the underlying infrastructure like compute, networking, load balancing, so you can run pods without managing nodes. As you can see, EKS Cuttle has now begun provisioning the underlying AWS infrastructure for our EKS auto mode cluster. Behind the scene, EKS leverages AWS CloudFormation to orchestrate this entire process. Here, we can observe our CloudFormation stack in action you will notice all the real-time events and resources being created, including our VPC, which is currently being provisioned. After a few minutes, you can see our EKS auto mode cluster has been successfully created and is ready to use. Let's verify the cluster by checking the parts. As you can see, we only have two metric server pods running in the cube system namespace because auto mode automatically manages all the core infrastructure components internally. So we don't see this typical system pods like cube proxy or core DNS. Now let's take a look at the node pool we are going to deploy shortly. A node pool defines how and where Carpenter provisions compute capacity. And this is our GPU specific node pool. You can see it has stains, ensuring only GPU workloads can be scheduled on these nodes. The capacity type is set to both spot and on demand. This gives us cost optimization with spot instances while maintaining reliability through on demand instances as a fallback. Notice we are requesting any instance type in G category, which includes modern GPU instances like G5, G6, and G6Es. Now let's create this node pool and verify it. Perfect. As you can see from the command, we now have three node pools. The default general purpose and the system node pools that comes pre-configured with auto mode, plus our custom GPU node pool that we just created. Next, we need to deploy our VLM model deployment. Notice this deployment has the same taints as tolerations that match our GPU node pool. We are using the VLM OpenAI compatible container image here you can see our model specifications. We are deploying the OpenAI GPT OSS 20B model, having different model parameters. And below, we have the service configured to expose it on port 
8000 as a cluster IP service. Let's apply this manifest. Perfect. You can see both the deployment and service has been created successfully. Now let's monitor the pod creation and wait for it to reach the running state. You can see the container is being created, which means EKS Automode has successfully launched a new node to accommodate our GPU workload. Let's check which specific node was provisioned for this pod. From this command, you can see that EKS Automode provisioned a g6e.x large instance with spot capacity. Exactly what we configured in our node pool for cost-effective GPU compute. After a few minutes, you can see that the pod has transitioned to the running state. Let's watch the pod logs to track the progress of the model loading into GPU memory. This will show us when the VLLM server is fully initialized and ready. After a few minutes, you can see our VLLM server is successfully loaded and ready to serve request. Now let's check our service. You can see the GPT OSS service has been created successfully and is listening on port 8000. Next, we are going to use port forward to access this service locally and test our model with some prompts. Now we can test our deployment with a curl command. Here I'm sending a chat completion request to our OpenAI GPT OSS 20B model with 500 max tokens and the prompt, what is machine learning? Perfect. You can see the response has been generated successfully. The model has provided a comprehensive answer about machine learning, demonstrating that our VLLM server running on the GPU node is working correctly and ready to handle inference requests through the OpenAI compatible API.